Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. The some of you out there may also know me as the fastest sniper. Today we're going to be looking at one of my global games and reviewing it. So on Pistol Round, I decide to make my way over towards Long. Luckily for me, the terrorists decide to go B. I mean, of course they did. Now luckily for me, as I make my way over towards the B site, this guy is pushing out middle and running up, so I get to shoot him from behind. And as I think I'm about to get this easy kill, he turns around and destroys me! On the next round, I got my trusty 5-7 in hand, which means that I'm gonna get a guaranteed kill here at long. Ouch, that hurt like hell! So basically we're off to a pretty good start here in a 3v5, and now we got a couple guns down. But of course, Fawn thinks I should be dual wielding these umps. Now here you guys will notice a bit of an issue. They have Galils and longer range rifles, whereas we have these two umps and I'm in pit. Uh, this won't end well. So far, we're not off to a great start and they're running over us like a stampede. Luckily for me, I finally got my AWP and you know what that means. Though, for some reason, it just never occurred to me that a second guy would eventually come out of long. Though my teammate gets a good pick into sight, and it looks like he has a chance of winning this round, but... Oh, darn it. Now they've taken B, and we're stuck on a retake with pistols. Will we ever win a freaking round? Well, it's not gonna be this one. Alright, maybe they just don't know who I am. I'm gonna buy another AWP and show them that I'm the fastest- Oh my god, did I just miss that. Well, at least that guy seems to have been scared off by the shot. Now the only problem is that they've taken the B site and we have to do a retake. But that's okay, I'll pick anyone that comes out through window. Well, damn. Looks like I'm gonna rank down after this game. Plus, could I be in a worse position here with a guy flanking from behind too? With rounds like this, I should just call this series Road to Silver. Hey guys, and welcome to another exciting episode of Road to Silver. You know, I think that would actually get more views than these videos do. Either way, here I'm gonna buy a 5.7 and see if I can push long and try to change some momentum. I am done with this bullshit of losing. I am gonna bring this back if I have to carry everyone on my own back. And that's when I turned everything around, right? Sadly, that isn't the case. Because as you can see here, it looks like I decided to go B and the terrorists went A. Well, I guess it's time to show you the epic retake of the game! Nope, that wasn't it. Now here you can see that they had taken middle and I came out the doors right as the terrorists went inside the door, kind of conceding the B site to the terrorists. This allows my teammate to assist me and then once he does, we take out the final two. Now since we just won a round, I don't want to jinx anything, so I decided to play the B site again. Now I really firmly believe that it's important to always spam the smoke when they throw one up, just in case one tries to push through. Oh my god, he turned smokes off! Once my teammate goes down, I need to rotate over to mid to watch it. The only thing is, I'm not very confident in my aim today, for obvious reasons. Alright, one guy down. Let's see if they'll expect me to peek middle and take down another one. Aw, oh, crap. Well, back to my trusty 5-7. Let's hope I warmed up a little bit with it. While we started to bring some rounds back, it seems that all of a sudden they were able to rush and take long. Well, this is fantastic. I have two HP and I have to clutch this round. So here you can see I screw up this flashbang, which was actually supposed to fake me coming up catwalk so that I could attack from long while he was looking towards cat. And since that screwed that up, I figured I'd just have to outreact him. It's plays like this that make me really think that Valve should nerf the movement speed with rifles and running speeds in general. 
Oh well, back to watching the B site. Luckily, after that kill, I don't have to stare at the tunnels for too much longer as my teammates kill everyone. Last round of the first half, and once again, they take the A site, which means I gotta rotate my ass over again. Oh crap, where'd he come from? Well, that guy almost killed me. So it's a 2v2 situation, and the thing is, my teammate goes down pretty early here, leaving me in a 1v2. And I actually did have a chance to win this round, because I'm retaking from long with an AWP. The problem is... The problem is I freaking suck and can't hit an easy shot when the guy's watching Catwalk and I'm shooting him from behind. Alright, pistol round of the second half. We came back quite a bit, and now it's time to redeem myself after that last round miss. I have now reached wood rank. Guys, close your eyes. I think that something bad's about to happen. For some reason, I had enough confidence to buy a freaking deagle when I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Somehow, my teammates ended up winning that round, and next round I have an ump, and I feel a guy pushing up her B tunnels, so I double back to take him down. Spider-Man, I can't sing the song, I don't want to get sued. Alright, back to the deagle, let's hope I can do something with it this time. Hey, there's one kill! I know what the best possible silver thing to do would be. Let's reload right out in the open. And thus begins my downward spiral. Oh, this round looked promising. And here you can see I have the reflexes of a dead cat. Alright, they got 14 rounds, time to tighten up. We're gonna have to do something to bring this back. You ever pull those really, really shady shots that just seem random, out of place, and like they really shouldn't have happened? Well, here's one of them. On the next round, we're doing a long take and I got a scout, but I'm able to pick up this AK and I'm just gonna hold this smoke. If anyone pushes through, they are as good as dead. Why the hell would my teammate decide to jump off right there? The next two rounds come easy. As you can see, I don't even have to leave T-spawn, let alone get a kill. So here we are in a 4v4, and finally it's time for me to step it up. My teammate calls upon me. Now check out this top level awareness. Ah! Where is he? Oh my god, I'm gonna die! <clears throat> As I was saying, top level awareness. The good news is that I am sneaking up long, and I see this guy in sight, so of course I'm gonna take my time. How do I miss a shot that easy? And then hit the next one! Now we have the bomb planted for us, and both of us are at long, so we should have this no problem. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty lucky to be alive. And now for the hacker moment of the game! Now I know what you guys are thinking, that shot earlier through the smoke at long with the AWP should have been the hacker moment of the game, but this round was just too funny not to put it in there. What happened, bro? So we're bringing it back slow and steady, and then this epic fail happens. Uh-oh. Now the score is 15-13. Well, make it 15-14, because my team just won the round without me. So here we are. We find ourselves on the last round with the score 15-14, and we need this one for the tie. And I am not going to derank to these guys. Look at that. I had that exact same shot earlier in this game, and I completely whiffed it. I've improved immensely. I'm almost back up to silver now. Well, crap, my teammate just went down, so now I'm stuck in a 1v1 and I haven't been hitting my shots all day. But that's okay, because you know what they call me in my dreams? Curry, damn it. Anyways, guys, I think that's a testimony to show you that you don't need to be good to be global. Uh, as you can see here, I still had 38 kills in a global level game. And I did terribly. I looked like a silver elite, maybe less. And, uh, <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And have a great day.